the former University of Oklahoma quarterback who led his team to two national championships in the 1970s was among two people killed when a small jet slammed into a neighborhood not far from the airport in South Bend, officials said. Stephen Davis, 60, of Tulsa, and three other people were headed to South Bend Regional Airport when the pilot of the twin-engine Hawker Beechcraft reported electrical problems shortly after 4 p.m. Sunday, officials said. It briefly touched down, took off and then crashed into three homes in the 1600 block of North Iowa Street, officials said. It hit or grazed one house and then hit another one squarely and then embedded itself into a third house, said South Bend Police Captain. Philip Trent. Davis and the pilot, Wesley Caves, 58, also of Tulsa, were killed. Three people were injured and taken to Memorial Hospital of South Bend, Trent said. Two were in good condition and one was in serious condition, he said. Davis started at Oklahoma from 1973 to 75, Barry Switzer's first three seasons as head coach for the Sooners. Davis led Oklahoma to the 1974 and 1975 national championships. After his playing career ended, he spent 18 years as a college football broadcaster. Switzer sent out a tweet this morning, saying I'm saddened by the loss of Steve Davis. Great role model for young people on and off the field. He was my first QB and had an outstanding career. It was not known why the plane was headed for South Bend. It took off from Richard Lloyd Jones Jr. Airport in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Earlier Sunday, According to the Federal Aviation Administration, the plane is owned by 7,700 Enterprises of Montana, according to FAA records. Frank Soika said he was standing in his bedroom when the plane hit his home and caused the ceiling of the living room to collapse. Soika was not hurt, but he had feared something like this might happen. It was about two weeks ago when I was thinking about how we're so close to the airport and have never had anything happen, he told the South Bend Tribune. I've lived here for 55 years and nothing like this has ever happened. There was a plane a few years ago that crashed into the gravel pit at Cooter Concrete, but that's it. The neighborhood was evacuated and residents taken by the Red Cross to a shelter set up at Clay United Methodist Church. Officials said their search for survivors was hampered by spilled jet fuel and fears that one of the homes would collapse. We have to shore up the house even before we can get in there, Assistant Fire Chief John Cordier said. Neighborhood resident Kelsey Dinger said she lives a few homes from the crashed site and was walking onto her front porch when the plane crashed. You could hear little kids screaming, she said. There were kids screaming for help. J.P. Chanher said he and his son were playing at the park, when his son looked up and said, Daddy, I'm going to raise the plane. Chanher said he saw the jet flying low to the ground. Then I watched it drop, I heard the crash and saw the smoke, he said.